I'm tipping this little dude's going to be my favourite guest of the whole year. I think so. Just a, just a hint. It's a highlight. We better introduce him, hey? Let's get him on. Well, our next guest is one of those kids who isn't going to let anything get in the way of his dreams. He's only 11 years old, and as a result of a rare disorder, he's already had over 40 operations, and he actually needs daily medical procedures just to keep him alive. Despite all of this, he was hoping that I would call in sick today so he could host the show. <laughs> Connor McClone is uh, determined to become a rock star and a really, really, really famous one. He's already released two singles and has... Uh, just Actually, a single and an album. Sorry to interrupt. <laughs> Larry, see ya. <laughs> see you, Larry. Sorry. Sorry, a single and an album. Yeah, sorry, Larry. No, that's all right. I just read the script. <laughs> uh, yeah, but... <laughs> You know they take 25 bucks of my pay away every time I make a mistake, and you just pointed that out. Um, oh, now, he's just been granted a scholarship, is that right? Yeah. To record a new album, is that right? Yes. How does this dude, with uh, these big ideas, rise above all these odds? If you didn't know already, Connor's about to join me, <laughs> and he's uh, got his mum, Cheryl, with us too. Good morning to you. Hello. Great to see you. Hey, you're looking pretty cosy there. Yeah, I am. <laughs> it's pretty comfy on the couch, isn't it? All right, before we, do, before we do anything else, Cheryl, take us through Connor's disorder. Uh, Connor has got Varta syndrome, so it actually affects most of his internal organs and also his skeleton and some muscle areas as well and he's deaf in one ear but his main problems are his bowel, bladder, um, the kidney, the stomach and his airways and then mm. his limbs, there's certain parts <coughs> of his bones missing. Mm -hmm. So what he does is he has medical procedures every few hours just to keep certain bits and pieces going in his body. Literally every few, few hours. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, and operations, medication and the procedures are what keep him going and he just defies the odds um, all the time. When did you actually first realise that, that he was ill? Um, when I was 28 weeks pregnant, right, okay. I was very small and they sent me for some tests but they didn't actually pick up everything. Okay. All they picked up was his little arm because he's missing quite a few bones and fingers Four in fingers. his arm no. but then as soon as he was born uh, he was rushed to the Children's Hospital at Westmead, and since then that's been his second home. Yes, All right. they've been wonderful. Should we get to the good stuff then? Yeah. You want to be a rock star? Yeah. Why do you want to be a rock star? Uh, well, I just want to, right? Well, I've seen a lot. <laughs> when did you start singing? Uh, well, let's just put it this way. <laughs> <laughs> My mum used to listen to Robin Williams in the car. Well, mm. still does. Yeah. Right. All the time. Mm. And that's when you started hooking in a bit of Robbie Williams. <coughs> Correct. Oh, look, since he could stand up, he's been singing and yeah, dancing to everyone. But he wears clothes these days. Yeah, right. When he was little, he did it. Oh, is that right? <laughs> yes. Uh, nude rocker. Now, you recorded your first single with singer Casey Barnes. Yeah. Got a little bit here. Do you mind if we just show Australia what you like when you're out there? Yeah. Doing your thing? All Why right, not? Ha have a look at this. Take me back to my younger days With that phone phone Williams, eat your heart out, huh? Mm hmm. <laughs> Pretty good. Now, Connor, this single helped raise money for the Children's Hospital at Westmead. How much money did you raise for the hospital? Well, well to be exact, 32000 in three months, cause, and that's with doing two concerts and two CDs. 32000 Yeah. That's amazing. You I must know. be very proud of that. Yeah. That's great stuff. Now, you've uh, just won a big scholarship from the Arts Education Foundation yep. Trust. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, what are you going to do with that money? You're going to... Um... Go into the studio again and record another CD with 12... Oh, uh, oh man. Oh, yeah, 12, 10, or oh, I'm hoping 20. 20 songs. Right. On. Yeah. 20 What's, songs. What sort of songs would you like to put on the album? Well, uh, like Angels by Robbie Williams. Mm, great and song. Where she offers me protection and maybe let me entertain you. Go on, do it. Great song. Let me entertain you. <laughs> Great song. <laughs> and you know what, you, you got all the shapes going on too. Thanks. You know, you're doing all the woo things. Like? Yeah, like that, <laughs> like that. Um, how do you, what a bright spark. What a Thanks. bright, bright spark in your he life. He keeps me going. Absolutely. <laughs> Would keep yeah. you going through those tough times, right? Very much, very much. And mm. look, he never gives up. And what we try and do to get him through is music and humour. So, you know, there's lots of things he can't do, but what we do is try and find mm. a, a happy and funny way or somewhere to sing. Yeah. And also, it's helping other 
chronically ill children as well and you know it's getting out there and his message is getting out to everyone and really inspiring them yeah. which is great as well all right connor i want to one last question to yep. you just how famous do you want to be it's i want to be as famous as robbie williams or even maybe more famous more, more famous, famous than, than robbie, robbie williams. williams yep and can he just say why he's the CD that he will be yes. um, doing his next one is actually to still raise money for the Children's Hospital at Westmead, but also f to help with Connor's medical expenses. Yeah. Okay. And we're starting to set up a trust because his ex medical costs are getting sort of bigger and bigger, and we have to sort of look out yeah. for him as well as the other children still. Okay. So that's yeah. his main aim. And now. we'll put all those details on our website. That would be lovely. Right. With, his, so with his T-shirt. Now this, so is, yeah, this yes. is a new business, right? Yeah. yeah. This is a, a, a T-shirt venture. And I, and am I your first order? Because I've just ordered one of these T-shirts for me. Or well, could I just say something? Uh, <laughs> yes, you can. One of them on mine. Well, well, not yet, but it will we be soon, soon on ConnorMcLean.com. <laughs> up, up and running. All right. Well, you I'll guys. I'll be the first one, okay? okay. I want T-shirt number one. You guys have blown us away this morning. You're an inspiration. Thanks Thank so much you. for coming in Thank and joining you. us. And good luck with the singing. Thanks. And when it's released, we want to hear. We want to hear it, okay? Yeah. In your album. All right. Now, how's your reading? You a good reader? Uh, kind of. Yeah. What about you? Looked at. What about you? Take us out to this break now. See, see over there on that camera. Can you read us through yep. that? Yep. Still coming up. We're getting a sneak peek at the latest trends from the fashion week as our ex expert. expert shows us how to get the latest runaway looks at home Keep but going, next, you're too good. all the latest news headlines and and sanders we're watching the morning show right around australia hey. Hey.